So what we are showing here today is the Nokia Core Enterprise solution uh, targeted to wide area uh, private wireless uh, 4G and 5G networks. We have um, some selected verticals that are very stringent requirements. Uh, for example, uh, the utilities here at Distributec, the national railways or the public safety uh, organizations. And what we bring and what we show here is basically our core cloud solutions together with our analytics, uh, security and digital operation uh, software suite. So these verticals have huge challenges, right? Uh, to name a few, uh, regulatory requirements, uh, operation and try to facilitate and ease the operations, uh, criticity in terms of uh, the services they provide. I would just deep dive on uh, three, three aspects. One is this wide area uh, and large network dimension. Actually, the private wireless solutions that we have in the market does not necessarily fit this large coverage requirement at nationwide or regional level. And uh, some of these uh, cases have been using service provider solutions that are too large, uh, more challenging to operate. So what we are bringing here, uh, and really the, the sweet spot is to scale down these solutions and make them really fit appropriate for these needs. A second dimension is related to uh, actually the, the, the legacy systems and technologies that these uh, actors have in their networks. Uh, and the whole challenge is actually the modernization that we are bringing with 4G and 5G as true multi-service platform, a bit like IP and PLS has been for the last 10 years, right, in the fixed network. That's what these technologies bring to these players for wireless. And the third dimension is actually the, the, the future-proofness of the investments and uh, the evolution of the networks. With cloud architectures, these networks will evolve in time continuously, bringing all the benefits of new features, particularly for security and for energy efficiency. In the telecom world, right, it's now widely accepted that cloud is a necessity, particularly in the core and in the operation solutions. And in 3GPP ecosystem, cloud is not new, right? I mean, 5G has been designed as a service-based, actually, architecture uh, with cloud in mind. The main benefit is the scalability, right? You can scale up and down the network at will. And also, it's just what I described before, which is basically the evolution, continuous evolution of the network and to ensure that it remains always on top. And that's why all our core solutions actually have been designed with this cloud architecture in mind. These solutions are already really future-proof, as I mentioned. I mean, available uh, right now and bringing all these benefits. We have two domains, though, where we continue to work on. First is to see which segments, which activity sectors that we can bring new. Currently, we have solutions for public safety, for utilities, uh, but we want also to bring that to the national railways, for example, uh, with FRMCS in mind, Future Railway Mobile Communication System as a replacement of GSMR. And having such blueprint built will definitely help these, uh, these players. A second dimension is to introduce automation uh, artificial intelligence, generative AI, typically, into these solutions to make them much more operable, much more easy, actually, to introduce, to deploy, and to operate. So Nokia has been a, a, a long uh, telecom player across all the segments, and particularly in the enterprise field, right, along all these activity sectors. Uh, we started our first private wireless network back 15 years ago. Uh, since then, uh, the success of our solutions uh, has been tremendous. We have more than 700 networks worldwide across all segments. And out of these, a fair number is in 5G. Actually, we have more than uh, 100 5G core networks deployed active commercially in the world. So what we are showing here at Distributec is the overall architecture of what is a private wireless network for large utility typically, and this could apply to other segments, obviously, and wider rare networks. It goes from the radio and the basic connectivity part, uh, including the devices, obviously, to the transmission components, IP, optics, and all this critical part of the networks, including microwave, right, that transport the signal, backhaul the signal, the information and then to the core, which is uh, the main purpose of our discussion today, where we have different uh, options 
from uh, compact units to large scale units, all deployed onto cloud architectures uh, for the right agility. And this uh, basically brings all the benefits that we just mentioned before on uh, scaling up, scaling down, getting all the, the network and the features up to date continuously and bringing all the nice efficiencies in terms of energy management, but also all the key security features along the life cycle and the lifetime of the network.